Hi, welcome to another video. In this video, we'll look at the previous year question from a particular topic, cell division. So in this playlist, we are looking at specific topics and their previous year question patterns. And based on that, we are devising our preparation strategy. So this is the overall analytics. The difficulty level is moderate. And there would be only one questions that can be asked every year. Generally, they ask some questions from this. We would get to know very soon. Then the question distribution is majorly in the M MCQ section. MSQ section, it's rare. So overall, in this video, we'll solve total 10 questions. There would be 20 minutes and we would see last five years analytics. And based on that, we will solve five fresh questions. If you are preparing for several examinations, then let me give you a very good news. Unacademy is bringing a lot of discount from their courses because they are now providing two months uh, extra subscription. If you take a 12 month subscription or four months extra subscription, if you have subscribed for 24 months, if you are a first, uh, first year or a second year student pursuing for uh, or thinking of giving MSc entrance examination, this particular uh, offer is really useful for you. You can use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. All you need to do is go to their app and then in the registration page, you can see there is an option in the bottom side to provide the referral code. You have to enter my referral code AP10 and then proceed to pay. Once you do that, obviously you can see after the application of referral code, the prices have dropped to 10%. And also you can see you can get extra four months or extra two months if you take a 12 month or 24 month subscription. So hurry up. Time is limiting, right? And don't forget to use my code AP10. And don't forget to watch my free lectures. If you watch my free lectures, then you would get a lot of credit coins and that can be deducted from your subscription fee. So your fee would be even more lowered. Now, there are many open uh, mock tests and question answer series going on in an academy. Next one is at 27th Jan and 23rd Jan. All the links are provided in my community post. Don't forget to check out my community post. You can join and give these examinations. Anyway, you can uh, watch my free lectures in an academy by using my code AP10. You will get free access to them. All the links are provided in the description. Let's begin with the question answer session. This question is from IIT Jam 2021. They asked that whether, what is the difference between mitosis and meiosis 1. Options are sister chromatids separate in mitosis, whereas homologous chromosomes separate in meiosis 1. The nuclear membrane is absent during mitotic metaphase, but not during meiotic metaphase. The DNA is double helical in my, uh, meiosis 1, but not in mitosis. Then unlike mitotic metaphase, chromosomes do not align to the equatorial plate in the meiosis 1. So from these answers, we can understand in mitotic metaphase, always there would be a resolution of the nuclear membrane and the chromosomes would be aligned in a metaphase plate in the center of the cell. So this is universal for meiosis or also in mitosis. So at any point you want to get a quick sense about mitotic or meiosis you are you are looking for revising that concept within 5 to 10 minutes then click on the i button right now correct answer you as you have guessed properly is option a okay it jam 2020 they have asked a question what is the correct sequence of phases during mitosis prophase metaphase anaphase telophase and all the combinations with this you can clearly understand this is very easy and the correct option is option a Similar question was asked in IIT Jam 2019, where they asked which one of the following figures represent the correct sequence of phases in adult eukaryotic cell cycle. So you can guess the correct answer is option B, G1, S, G2, and then mitotic phase. Question number uh, four is from IIT Jam 2019, where they say which one of the following statement is correct description of modes of action of taxol and colchicine. So this is a quick performer that they definitely ask questions from the drugs that inhibit cell cycle or the drugs that they interfere with the actin dynamics or microtubule dynamics. At any point, you want to get a quick summary, ready-made notes for that, those microtubule blockers, 
then you can click on the i button right now it should be displayed so in short taxol stabilizes microtubule whereas colchicine prevents the polymerization of the microtubule so overall both of them hinders with the cell cycle okay during eukaryotic cell division the amount of dna doubles which phase it is right so it's basically we know in s phase because dna replication happens and this question is very similar to that of uh, which uh, which was asked in 2019 right so all of them ask you to correlate a cell cycle phase with a particular function RTGM 2016 this question is slightly difficult but it's also easy during mitosis disappearance of nucleolus is the hallmark for metaphase prophase anaphase telophase so specific event that happens in different time point of mitosis is really important so in this case the answer is prophase question number uh, the last question of this previous year question session is from RTGM 2016 there they talk about two mammalian cell lines with doubling time of 12 hours and 36 hours were cultured in a radioactive thymidine for 8 hours. Okay, the cell were further cultured without the radioactive thy thymidine for 72 hours. Incorporated radioactivity was measured in equal number of cells which revealed that both the cell lines had same amount of radioactivity. The fast growing cell has more radioactivity. The slow growing cell had more radioactivity neither of the cell had any radioactivity so here the correct answer would be option c the slow growing cell would have more radioactivity so here they have given a pulse of radioactive thymidine for eight hours notice that none of these cells are dividing within that span of eight hours so anyway so this is one time of incorporation of radioactivity in the cell cycle after that in a span of 72 hours the cell which has a uh, dividing doubling time of like 12 hours it has divided six times and uh, the cell which has a doubling tower time of 36 hours it has divided two times so obviously the radioactivity signal is less diluted in the slow dividing cell so obviously if we take equal amount of cells we would most likely to get more radioactivity from the slow growing cells this question format is super important by the way, if you want to revise quickly, there are dynamic flashcards in my animated biology with Arpan channel. Also, you can follow me on Facebook to download all of these notes and flashcards. All the descriptions are in, uh, all the uh, links are in the description. Let's practice five questions. Question number one, which one of the following statement is false? In G1 phase, cells experience external growth factors mediated signaling, which leads to transcription of cyclin D1 gene in s phase dna replication takes place c centriole duplicates in g2 in metaphase the chromosomes are arranged in a form of metaphase plate so here the correct answer would be option c centriole duplicates at the end of uh, kind of like g1 phase so it's not g2 g2 by g2 they have already duplicated question two one cell line has a cell cycle time of 12 hours another has six hours both the cells were incubated continuously with BRDU for 24 hours. Then which of the cell will show more BRDU incorporation? BRDU and radioactivity, they would hold the same principle because BRDU is a uridine analog and it would be incorporated in the DNA in the S phase. Equal amount of cells are analyzed. So that's the uh, that's the condition. So which one, which one of these cell line would have more radioactivity? That is the question. So obviously the cell line Y would have more radioactivity because look at this particular treatment. Here the BRDU is administered as a continuous exposure. It means for 24 hours the BRDU is there. And in this span of 24 hours the cell which has a 6 hours of doubling time that cell line has divided 4 times. And the cell line that has a 12 hour doubling time that has divided 2 times. So obviously more BRDU incorporation happens during S phase in case of cell line Y. So this is a trick question. If the treatment was a pulse versus the treatment, treatment is a continuous treatment. Next question accounts for that. A cancer researcher wanted to compare patient derived cell line X with a control cell line C for determining characteristics of cancer. In order to check the rate of division, he gave a 5 hour BRDU pulse, mind this pulse, and then wash it off 
and transfer the cell in regular media. So what would be the correct observation after this experiment? 30 minutes after the pulse, the cell line X has higher number of BRDU positive cells than um, compared to the cell line C. So that is fine. And then the second one option is two days after the pulse, when he collected equal number of cells from both plates, he found that samples from X has a lower BRDU than cell line C. So which one of the answer is correct? Here the correct answer would be option C. Both A and B are correct. So these are cancer cell line. So obviously cancer cell line has a higher growth rate and higher division rate. So obviously the cell line X would incorporate more BRDU compared to control cell line. And this is after a small pulse. But if you wait for two days, then what would happen? So then what would happen? Then the cell X, that would be more dividing, right? Cell X is the cancer cells which are dividing at a faster pace. So they would keep on dividing. They would dilute the BRDU that they have incorporated. Whereas the control cell line don't divide that much. So they would retain the BRDU. And that's why option C is important. So I think this question is clear. Question number four, which of the following occurs in meiosis but not mitosis? This kind of comparison is always important. So read these questions, uh, read these uh, options carefully. Attachment of spindle fiber to the kinetochore, crossing over of non-sister chromatids, separation of sister chromatids at anaphase, pairing of homologous chromosomes at metaphase plate. The correct answer here is crossing over. Next question, since we talked about crossing over, crossing over occurs during dash, diplotin, pacoitin, leptotin, zygotin. The correct answer would be pacoitin. You can get all the ready reference in the I button, so check it out. Question number six and last question of the day. Which of the following process in mitotic prophase is unusual about a fungi? So the correct answer here is no breakdown of nuclear envelope. It is also known as internal mitosis and this question was asked in IIT jam 2016 so this is a really important question so i hope this was useful my courses are there in unacademy you can find both free courses free plus special classes and structured special classes uh, structured plus classes you can take a subscription or if you don't have the money to take a subscription you can use my code ap10 to unlock all my special courses that means the classes that are free all links are provided in description and you can also get a lot of like these flashcards that would help in your preparation and right now this is not only available in unacademy this is also available in my facebook page so the facebook page link is provided in the i button in the i button and also the in the description so click on that follow that facebook page for more updates don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you